ओ शांति विमिश भाई वी कांट हियर योर वॉइस ओके इज इट ऑडिबल नाउ इट्स वेरी क्लियर ओके लेट मी जस्ट वेट is it is it clear now yes yes okay 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 so om shanti let's take a couple of minutes let's take a couple of moments to stabilize ourselves as we get ready listen to bab dada today's modeling is dated 31st december 2009 it is bringing in the new year bringing in year 2010 and what comes in with new year is new year resolutions so this bodhi baba has gifted us some new resolutions one of moving from old sanskars to new sanskars moving from body consciousness to soul consciousness moving from instability to stability and in today's holy baba has given us a homework of being stable of staying in awareness for 10 minutes so that's the practice we shall be taking on newly from today starting with few minutes where you're completely in yoga in connection with baba catching yourself to bring yourself wherever your mind wanders and slowing down the title of today's murli is in the new year give all souls the message and give them the gift of the golden world in order to become equal to the father make your nature of remaining soul conscious natural today bab dada is seeing every child in their form of love and the form of being merged in bab dada's love each child is sparkling with god's love all the children have arrived here in the flying vehicle of love you have come here to celebrate the new year but what is visible in the eyes of all of you new year is just in name it is when the calendar year changes but what enthusiasm do all of you have in your eyes you are giving greetings for three things one greetings for your new life Two, greetings for the new age. And three, 
greetings of meeting your family and the father. What is spinning in your eyes? Your new age is appearing in front of you, is it not? In your heart, you have the enthusiasm that the new age is about to come. The golden age is about to come. The shining dress of the new age is as clearly in front of you as though you are quickly going to wear that shining dress today in the confluence age. You're very happy to see it in front of you. So even in law logic practices, uh, when people who celebrate, who go out and party in the new, on the eve of the new year, the new year is yet to come, but they wear new dresses on the last day of the old year. You're bidding farewell and also receiving greetings. You bid farewell to the old year. And you then forget that year and the new year that is ahead comes in front of you. In the same way, you're not giving greetings to the old world ahead of you, but you're giving greetings for the new world. You're bidding farewell to the old world. Today, Everyone has zeal and enthusiasm for the new age. People give greetings for the new year and they also give a gift. Bab Dada is also giving you children a gift to bid farewell to the old nature and sanskars and to go into the new world where there is attainment and nothing but attainment. In short, you can say that there is nothing lacking in the new world. Bab Dada has given each of you children such a gift of the golden world. You too have the intoxication that you are becoming those who have a right to the golden world, do you not? No one else can give such a gift. The father has given each child the direction. Give all souls the gift of the father's inheritance, the message of the golden world. What gift do you have? Firstly, give them the gift of the new world. And secondly, you have many treasures. The treasure of virtues. The treasure of powers. The treasure of self-respect. You have so many treasures. So, give everyone the gift of one or another virtue or one or another power so that their lives change through this gift and they claim a right to the golden world. Because you can see that sorrow and peacelessness are nowadays increasing everywhere. Everywhere, everyone has fear and worry. At the very least, give those unhappy and peaceless souls the message that the Father has now come. Become one who has a right to the imperishable inheritance from now. You are giving every soul this message. But even now, some of the father's children are still deprived of the message. Nevertheless, 
you are the children of the one father. And so, definitely give the gift of this message to your brothers and sisters. No one should be left out. So Baba is talking about spreading the awareness that Baba has arrived. You're doing service and Bab Dada is pleased to see the service of you children. But the father's hope is that none of his children should be left out of receiving this message. They should not complain that you received the gift of the golden world and they did not even know about it. Our father came and we did not receive that message. This is why this is the effort you have to make in the new year. So the new year greetings, how we usually greet people by wishing them happy new year. This is the time when you gift them the awareness that the Supreme Father has arrived. Make a plan amongst yourselves so that no corner is left out. You should not receive any complaints, but they should become happy. At least they should know our Father has come. They should not remain deprived. So, what will you do in this new year? Get together and make a plan. Bhaktada feels mercy for every child. You too, especially, have to adopt a merciful and benevolent form towards your brothers and sisters and give everyone the message. At least they should not make such a complaint. So today, all the children have arrived here with the zeal and enthusiasm to celebrate the new year. What song does Bab Dada sing on seeing each and every child? You know that, do you not? The song is Wa Child Wa. Even to those who have come here for the first time, Bab Dada says, you are lucky that you belong to the Father before the completion of time. Bab Dada is giving multi, multi-million fold congratulations to the new children for becoming lucky. Nowadays, Bab Dada wants to see one thing in all the children. Do you know what that is? Each of you has enthusiasm in your heart for the aim that you are going to become equal to the Father. Not that you will become that at some point, but that you are definitely going to become that. Just as you have that aim, so together with the aim, Bab Dada now also wants to see the qualifications of that aim. Just as you have the aim of becoming equal, so too you must also have the qualifications for becoming equal. Just as you have the aim of becoming equal, so too you must also have the qualifications for becoming equal. Now, your aim is very high, but you have to pay special attention to its qualifications. Equal to the extent that the aim is high, so too 
the qualifications for that are just as high. Only when the qualifications are high shall we children stand to achieve that aim. Now, you children do want to imbibe those qualifications. But meanwhile, some say, I want this very much, but, and there is a list of reasons. So this but of reasons should now be removed. Just as it is visible from a distance through your face and activity, how high the aim is, so too, the qualification should also be visible from your face and your activity. For instance, earlier, when you were in the state of body consciousness, your natural nature was that of body consciousness. Did you ever make effort to become body conscious? Your natural nature was that of body consciousness. You did not make effort for that for half the cycle. We would operate from the way we would operate and say, what do I do? That's my nature. Similarly, now too, it should be your natural state to be soul conscious. Since the nature of body consciousness became natural, do you ever remember having to become body conscious? Did you ever make that effort? Even now, there is body consciousness and soul consciousness. And so why is there effort to become soul conscious? So ever since we have come in this learning, <coughs> there is this new access that we've got of being soul conscious. So right now, because of the old sanskars, we have body consciousness. And because of the awareness, we have soul consciousness. So Baba's asking, why is there effort to become soul conscious as naturally we express from our body consciousness the same way we can express from our soul consciousness? Bhaktada receives news that you sometimes have to make effort to finish body consciousness. Since it was natural to be body conscious, then why should it take effort to be soul conscious? Bab Tada does not like the children having to labor. Become free from having to labor and have this natural nature. This is known as having an aim with equal qualifications. So Bhabda has also given the answer of how to be standing to get those qualifications and be qualified so that you can attain that aim of being equal to the Father. Then just see how it will be very easy and natural to become equal to the Father. You saw Father Brahma while having responsibility for such a large family, he had the natural nature of soul consciousness. Even the children have responsibility. But what is that responsibility in front of Father Brahmas? Whatever responsibility it may be, for instance, it may be the responsibility of a zone or of some official business of the yagya. What is that responsibility in front of Father Brahmas? What is that responsibility in front of Brahma Babas? 
with help from Shiv Baba, Brahma Baba demonstrated practically how Karavanhar, that is, one who inspires others, is making him do everything and that he himself is Karanhar, the one who is already doing. Whilst being loving and detached equal to the father. If you wish to become equal to the father, then check this. Whether it is your thoughts, your words, or your duties in terms of your actions. I am Karanhar and a trustee, and Shiv Baba is the Karavanhar master. You forget this lesson of Karavanhar as you move along. When you get into body consciousness, you only feel that I am the Karanhar and the Karavanhar. But when you come to soul consciousness, you get to see that Shiv Baba is the Karavanhar master. So you have to make the aim and its qualifications equal. Now, together with bidding farewell to the old year, you have to bring about the qualifications of your aim. There has to be new things for the new year. But the children say, what can I do? Maya comes. Even though I don't want her to come, she comes. Together with bidding farewell to the old year, also bid farewell to such words and thoughts. So Baba is not talking about actions here. Baba is talking only about bidding farewell to those old sanskars, to such words and thoughts of doubt, of helplessness, of skepticism, of apprehension. Because one's words and thoughts are taken care of, the actions coming out of soul consciousness will automatically show. Do not bid farewell just to the year. Bab Dada has told you that Maya too comes to Bab Dada. And what does she say? Maya says to Bab Dada, I understand that it is now time for me to go. But what can I do when some children invoke me? So, today, together with bidding farewell, you also have to bid farewell to the various forms of Maya. The Bab Dada is asking, do you have that courage? And if you do, raise your hands. Do you have the courage to bid her farewell? Those sitting at the back, do you have courage? Those who have courage, raise your hands. The father is giving you multi, multi million fold congratulations for this courage. Why? Why is Bab Dada emphasizing this? Because all of you can see that the conditions of the world have begun to get worse with full force for some time. And Bab Dada has been speaking these elevated versions that it will happen suddenly. The, the angle at which the sanskars around the world with various souls is depleting. We are all witness to that. It has to happen suddenly. And if you don't have the practice over a long period of time, then tell me, at the time of suddenly, you will need this practice, will you not? Just recently, 
Bap Dada gave homework of 10 minutes for a total of 24 times. The homework was of 10 minutes each time, but some children find this difficult. Just think, you cannot have 10 minutes of this practice. What will happen when it happens suddenly? Bab Dada knows that when you have to do it 24 times, some of you don't have that much time. But Bab Dada was just trying it. Are you able to stay in one awareness for 10 minutes whenever you want and how you want? Bab Dada says you don't have the time. Why? Because there are so many responsibilities and attachments that we have around us. That to take out time of 10 minutes for 24 times, you would feel, I don't have that time. So Bab Dada is not saying that you have to stay in that stage for 10 minutes right now. Okay. He says, you're not able to do that. Those who can do it should do it. And if you're not able to do it, then you can do it for five minutes, seven or six minutes. Try it out for as long as you can. So that's going to be the homework of today. Rather, let it be a homework from today that the number of times that we can sit for the number of minutes that we can extend each time that we sit We're going to be working on stabilizing ourselves and strengthening ourselves in soul consciousness. Bab Dada himself is saying that it is not fixed. If you find that 10 minutes is too much, you can do it for 8 minutes, 9 minutes. Instill the habit for as long as possible because it is now that you have put the blessing off over a long period of time into a practical form. If you're not able to practice this over a long period of time now, then for the attainment of the effort of a long period of time, at the present time, there will be a difference in length in terms of half the cycle. The more the practice of attainment, the longer you will be, the way you will be in half the cycle. If you give less time now, Bab Dada has given, given permission for you to do it for as long as possible. There is no rigidity here. Baba is very generous. He's left it up to you. He's left it up to all of us. If you do it for longer than five minutes, if you cannot do it for 10 minutes, then do it for seven minutes or eight minutes. You are giving permission to do it for even five minutes. But if you're able to do 10 minutes at any point, that is good. The time will come when you will have to give raise to the self and the world. The time will come when you will have to give Sakash to your own self to charge your own battery and in turn charge the battery of people around the world. This is why Bab Dada is giving you permission. Practice this for as long as possible because the long period of the present time is the basis of the future. The way you are now is going to shape up your future. Is that all right? You find it difficult. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at that at the moment. And you have the you have the father, you have told the father about it. And that is good because if you are not able to sit for 10 minutes, and that time is spent just thinking about it, 
then those five minutes are also gone. This is why Bab Dada is saying, do not let it be less than five minutes. Increase it as much as you can. Is that clear now? Bab Dada is seeing each one in a very elevated form. And in order to symbolize this, Bab Dada has given each child so much self-respect. If you were to make a list of the points of self-respect, it would be such a long one. Today, at Amritvela, Bab Dada went on a tour. What did he go to see? Bab Dada has given a very long rosary of self-respect. If you were to stabilize yourself in each of the points of self-respect, when you walk and speak about each point of self-respect and continue to turn that rosary, you will enjoy it very much. You have a list of self-respect, but how great each aspect of that list of self-respect is and who gave it to you? The world almighty authority has given each and every child a list of many points of self-respect. Use that because there is no other authority that can reduce this self-respect of yours. No one else has received a rosary of so much self-respect. Bhaktada has seen that you will receive your fortune of the kingdom in the golden age. But this rosary of self-respect is a gift of the confluence age. Bhaktada has seen that you will receive your fortune of the kingdom in the golden age. But this rosary of self-respect is a gift of the confluence age. Whenever Bhaktada sees the children, he looks at them with a stage of the self-respect. Va, bache, va. So, stay in the authority of the self-respect of who you are. Sometimes, keep one point of self-respect and at other, another time, keep another point of self-respect in check. Today, I kept, kept a special aspect of self-respect in my intellect at Amritvela. And that is a treasure. So, did I use that? The way to increase the treasures is to use them. Today, Bab Dada was seeing which children have a longer rosary of the awareness of self-respect and which children have a shorter rosary. Where there is self-respect, arrogance of the body finishes. Where there is self-respect, arrogance of the body finishes. So, today, Bab Dada went on a tour and saw the treasure of their self-respect. Each Use each and every power, use each and every virtue. Then the problem that you have of Maya coming, Maya doesn't just come. But Baba has already told you what Maya says. That the children invoke me and it is then that I come. I wouldn't go otherwise. To have any weak or insignificant thought is to invoke Maya. When you forget the powers, you have invoked Maya. I don't want her to come, but she comes. So, who is more powerful? I don't want her to come, but she comes. So, is, Ma, is Maya powerful or are you? <laughs> so today, the old year is ending and in the new year, there is new zeal and enthusiasm because the praise of the confluence age is that each day is filled with enthusiasm. That is, each day is a festival. 
It is because there is zeal and enthusiasm that each day is a festival. Therefore, make this firm. Look at your chart every day. Even while walking and mo moving around, check it. If you check, you would also change. Check and change, would you not? If you don't check, how would you change? I guess we shall take a break here and continue tomorrow. Let's take a few moments to reflect on the gifts Bab Dada has given us on the eve of this new year and then be open to share. All right, whoever would like to share can unmute yourself and share. Om Shanti, good morning everyone. So, Dada today is telling us as the new year is coming. So we make resolutions that we'll do this, we'll do that. Each one of us, we make our own resolutions. So he's telling us to make a resolution of bidding farewell to your old sanskars of body consciousness and bring in the new <laughs> consciousness of uh, uh, soul consciousness <clears throat> your natural nature and it should not <clears throat> come with an effort as uh, we say that it is our natural nature we just cannot do anything it's you know it just happens so Baba is saying that why can't you make this nature of soul consciousness also as natural as the body conscious is natural now because that was us earlier and he's saying that the uh, because the long period of the present time is the basis of the future so as much we um, practice so that will be the basis of our future, like we say, the um, what we think becomes our destiny. So that's what he's trying to say, that stay in your uh, self-respect as much as possible. And he's also bargaining, okay, if not for 10 minutes, then 5 minutes, 6 minutes, 7 minutes, for as long as you can. And uh, it will become your nature. Thank you, Om Shanti. Asima, when, when I was uh, reflecting, uh, when I was preparing to read this Murli yesterday evening, I could see that when Baba said that uh, we, we have both the awarenesses now. One, how naturally we operate from our body consciousness and now even soul consciousness is naturally available but we don't operate necessarily every time from there and I would look at myself that why would I do that and the answer that I got is that it is my complacency it is uh, I want to I want to do things but my actions are not matching with what I want it was as simple as that. So 
I could see that duality within me. And that duality was coming because, yeah, I want to leave the old sanskars. I want to uh, let go of Maya. But, uh, but the attachment, the cravings of uh, the gratifications that I would get out of operating from body consciousness are weighing me down. And I'm allowing myself, making myself available to be weighed down by that. So that was my reflection to look at that. Yes, I mean, get back with that duality. And uh, be prepared for the higher level. And like you uh, pointed out over here, what Baba said about moving ahead, uh, the future, the way to who you, your actions, the way they are now, they shape up your destiny, your thoughts shape up your destiny. Uh, yes, I mean, even in, when we are giving exams, when you're pre preparing for any kind of an examination, if you want to be a topper, you need to have that kind of a preparation to be a topper or to get a higher grade. So the what is the grade that I would want in the golden age? Those actions that I take in this confluence age, confluence age is going to be the decisive factor to see what number am I going to get in the golden age. Thank you, Sina Ben. Yes, the aim and qualification has to be equal. <laughs> so, yes, we have to remain in that awareness for at least five minutes. Um, how many times he said? 24 times? 24 day? times. Yes. So, as much as possible, we need to increase this practice over a period of time. Yeah. So, uh, the reason why he set, uh, Baba set this standard was that that's the goal, if we may call for the time being, to start. It may not be 24 times, say it may be just five times or seven times. It may not be for 10 minutes. It may be just, you may start with five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes. But look at how much the mind wavers, even when we are sitting in stability. The storms that would be there of thoughts of either the mind running into the past or the future and not allowing you to be there in the present, just being one with Baba. So start. there will be a lot of commotion up there when you start having those longer times, when you sit for those longer times. But gradually, as you sit, as we all sit to practice, it is getting your system used to coming out from, of soul consciousness. Yes. Yes, Sandhya Ben. Sandhya Ben, are you speaking? Because we can't hear you. No, we can't yet hear you. Okay, till the time Sandhya Ben fixes her mic. Would anyone else like to share? Harpreet Ben, Sujata Ben, Sukumaran Bhai. Hello, am I audible now? Yes, you are. Okay, okay. Yes, I like the point where uh, in today's Murli where Maya says, uh, Maya says to Baba that I don't want to disturb your children, but people invoke me to come and disturb them because of their leakages, right? So the homework which is given to us from my Baba, if we practice that, and we are sure we'll be out of a leakage and Maya will get away from our, our, our body consciousness and we will have more um, stability in our mind. Om Shanti.
यस अंशुबेन हरप्रीत ओम शांति ओम शांति ब्रदर यस आई वाज जस्ट चर्निंग अपॉन लाइक कॉम्प्लेसेंसी यस इट हैज बिकम आवर नेचर दैट्स हाउ वी नीड टू इंक्रीज आवर ज़ील एंड एंथुसियाज़म एंड लाइक जस्ट सिस्टर सेड दिस स्टॉप हाउ वी कैन स्टॉप आवर लीकेजेस सो लेट्स ऑल पॉन्डर अपॉन इट really how much we earn we practice soul consciousness we do good actions but somehow this leaking uh, needs to be totally stopped so brother can you please uh, further elaborate on this that's what i was sharing out of my reflection on so when that uh, you know when when there is a leakage and when we say that how can i do it what to do maya is uh, attacking and we would blame maya for that but the simple way if you want to stop a leakage if there is a tap that is leaking in your house what would you do you would simply fix it right you would apply whatever needs to be applied so basically you'll do what is required to be done to stop the leakage and that's all that baba is saying here that there is there is no there is no uh, that maya you, that you are reaching out it's you who's reaching out to maya it's not maya who's reaching out to you so we, the only way i would look at is that look within your own self the need uh, the urge to have that need be gratified which would have you operate from body consciousness be it anything uh, be it any kind of a food or a need to react or anything for that matter even jealousy envy uh, being egoistic all of that i mean it's just something that stimulated within you because of your own sadhgas and you would show up responding in that way but yes that practice of stability for a few moments and each time being pract- practicing being in the present moment and then asking yourself to start with that oh is my this reaction required is this who i am given that i am baba's child is this who i am and once you see that for yourself slowly gradually allowing the new sanskars to rule you that's the way i would see it anshu bhai thank you brother so constant reminders constant uh, reminding us about our own original peaceful state yeah. and yeah. we dwell in it and we make it it, it our sanskar essence and we yeah. start remaining in it only very nice we need to really close the tap forever and start so that it doesn't start leaking again thank you yeah. thank you everyone happy satpurva om shanti brother you know i was just yes. listening today and just amazed that babas and bap dadas creation we speak so much about maya but who created maya again they created it in this world to coexist with us for a very challenging reason which is a very difficult answer to give sometimes i reflect on that why was this maya even created this probably a challenge to the purity of the souls that are in their origin, original strait on how do you coexist with maya is it your friend or your enemy is it something which makes you shine deeper because it keeps challenging you so you need maya to overcome and grow spiritually or because if we look at it in a very objective way the world would have been so different if there was no maya at all right i don't know these are very reflective questions that sometimes come to my mind but the fact that it exists and it exists because bab dada has created it it is to challenge us and yet to bef- befriend us in a different way so sometimes i think maya is like a friend 
Maya is actually helping you grow. Maya challenges you and respectfully we have to say thank you for making me get challenged all the time. I don't know what I'm speaking today. These are just thoughts in my head. Huh? So just a personal view. So it's just very interesting when you look at the world at large. Why is Maya there in the first place? You know, Om Shanti. So you're making sense in whatever you're asking because these were the questions that I had earlier. And I uh, used to ask these questions to my, uh, to the sister who was giving me Palna at the center. And uh, the answer that I got was that there was a time, of course, to answer one question, there was a time when everything was so pure. That is why it was the golden age. So if we could talk about uh, it, Maya coexisting, it's more like, okay, nuclear energy, okay? Anything that is nuclear was created, science created, uh, invented or discovered, whatever was there, but it was misused. So the same thing about uh, karmas, that everything was meant to be done with a virtue. But over a period of time, as the soul started to lose its charm, those virtues started converting into vices. The evolvement of a human being, though here it was a depletion uh, of the soul, the way I would look at it is that the boredom of attaining and remaining to that level of uh, highest consciousness allowed Maya to make its way. So Maya wasn't there. That was something that people felt, oh, it can be misused. So maybe in, in reply to the reflections that you were having, these are a few things in interest of time I thought I could share right now. And there's much more. Yes, yes. <laughs> but thank you, brother. I know this yeah. is a very big subject and it can yes. be debated at length. Yes. Thank you, brother, anyway, yes. for the sharing. Yes. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. All right. So, uh, in the interest of time, let's do a short silent meditation, a practice of two to three minutes here of staying in stability and awareness. There's no music. There's no commentary. It's just you with yourself and the Supreme Father. As we complete, complete I'll just wish everyone Om Shanti and we'll log out. Om Shanti. See you all tomorrow morning at 5.30. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti, Bhaiji. Thank you.
Oh, 